Now let us consider the vertical shift of a center of gravity due to loading. Say for example, if I load something on the top, my center of gravity will shift towards the weight loaded. Or if I load something down below like this, let me just make it clear. So if I load something down below like this, my center of gravity will shift towards the weight loaded down below. Similarly, if this weight was somewhere here, somewhere here, and I discharge this weight, so initially the center of gravity is at G, and I discharge this weight like this, the weight will shift away from the weight discharge, so it will shift downward. Likewise, if there was a weight down below like this, and my G was here, and if I discharge this weight from the bottom, that means the top has become heavy, so G will shift away from the weight discharge. So we have a thumb rule that in case of loading, COG will shift, COG will shift towards the weight loaded. And in case of discharge, COG will shift away from the weight discharge. Away from the weight discharge. So in case of shifting, suppose this weight was here and then we shift upward. So in case of shifting, if we shift something from uh, bottom to the top like this, the G will also shift to upward direction. Similarly, if I shift this weight from top to bottom like this, if I shift, I put it back here, the G will come back here. So the shifting part, we can say COG shifts towards the weight shifted. Basically, the thumb rule is COG is going to shift towards the weight loaded or towards the higher side. Say for example, if I put some weight here, this side, so higher side is on the top side, so G will is going to shift this way. And if I discharge this weight, the high side will be down below, so it will shift to G again. On a ship of 12,000 ton displacement, kg 7.5 meter, a shore crane is used to shift 200 ton heavy lift from upper deck that is 12 meter to lower hold that is 2 meter. It is used to shift like this and we need to find the kg during shifting and after shifting. So let's work out for during shifting part. Well, while shifting, while shifting, the weight is taken by shore crane. So it is as good as that we have discharged this 200 ton weight. So we know the formula that GG1 is W into D divided by W. Here, W is 200 ton and D is the kg of the ship, which is 7.5 meter and the kg of the weight which is 12 meter. So let's work out D. So D will be 12 meter minus 7.5. So that will give me, let me use my Kelsey, 12 minus 7.5 is equal to 4.5 meter, 4.5 meter. And now this W is the final one. Well, the displacement was 12,000 and we discharged 200 ton. So 12,000 minus 200. That is my displacement. So let's solve this problem. That 200 into 4.5 divided by 10,000. We can just simply do the calculation divide by 1 10,000 10,000 so I get 0 
nine meter. That is the shift in center of gravity. Since here the shore crane has taken the load, this crane was here and the shore crane has taken the load, the weight is shifted downward. This, oh, sorry, the center of gravity is a shifted downward. G, G1. It is shifted downward because from the top the weight is taken. The bottom is heavy now so gg1 is to be downward now so so kg1 is kg minus uh, gg1 and the kg is 7.5 meter minus 0 0.09 and 5 minus 0 .0, 0 0.09 will give me 7.41 7 point four one meter now let's see what happens when with the shifting is over when the shifting is over let me just mark here with this color when the shifting is over when the shifting is over the weight is shifted from this location to this location so the total distance shifted will be d is equal to upper deck distance that is 12 meter and lower hold distance that is 2 meter so total distance shift is, is 10 meter and that is downward so the shift in cog that is gg1 is w into d divided by w so here w is 200 and the d is the distance shifted kg1 minus kg2 so that is 10 meter divided by 12,000. Now let's solve it. 200 multiplied by 10 divided by 12,000. So I get 0 0.166. So I can write 0 0.167. And since I shifted this weight what I can do I can just draw the straight line so this was K and this was G KG1 was here and KG2 was here so I shifted something from top to bottom like this so my KG1 will be KG minus GG1 because I shifted something from top to bottom my GG1 will also go down so GG1 will also go down well kg was 7.5 and gg1 is 0 0.167 so i get this value 7.333 meter answer